Yo, what up, crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Jess Mike, and on today's show, we're going to be talking about QC label mates, OG Mako, and Migos basically trading shots on social media over record sales and dabbing. I know it sounds crazy, but it is what it is. Now, you know, Migos did post. They said, listen, you know you praying our album do good. We pay your bills, hashtag rookie. Now, they were talking about OG Mako. He wasted no time in responding. He said, listen, I never got a dollar from any Migos but Offset. So free him, and I'm starting to think the album numbers are locked up with him. Now, we all know that, you know, Migos did drop their new album, their debut album, YRN, the album, Young Rich Nation. And I know a lot of people saying they've been around forever, but this is their official debut album. And I guess OG Mako is insinuating that as long as Offset is locked up, their album sales numbers will be too. And I don't really know about that, but they also commented on Skipper the Flipper. They said, listen, he's in the Migos family, OG Mako. Let's see you set a trend. And I guess this was all over, uh, you know, uh, Skipper using the word dabbing. And, you know, maybe OG Mackle's insinuating that people are biting off him or something like that. But OG Mackle did respond by saying half the rap game has already bit one of my flows or my ad libs. Let's see them album sales figures, though. But now, here is the album sales figure, at least compiled to what I know about from Hits Daily Double. This is the building albums chart. And it says they're coming in at about 9,564. Now, you know, that number is going to change tomorrow because Friday is going to be the official day. They're going to come out with a new number. So then we'll see how good their numbers are in total. But, you know, basically OG Mac was saying, you know, everybody's coming at me sideways simply because I stated Skipper the Flipper brought Dabbing to the forefront and let my dude shine. And, you know, a lot of people are echoing his sentiments. But to be honest with you, if it's not the Migos he's getting into it with, he's getting into it with Future, right? Another one of his close friends. You know, if it's not him, then another one of his good friends, Quentin Miller, over the whole Drake ghost writing situation, right? So I expect this stuff from OG Mako, to be honest with you. I mean, sort of like Azalea Banks. They're going to comment on things that go on in our hip-hop culture. It is what it is. And to be honest with you, he says, listen, I always say something shocking to start the conversation that needs to be discussed. And y'all shouldn't be so surprised. Y'all should be used to it by now. It's intentional. And so he does these things on purpose. And to be honest with you, I kind of already knew that. But I want to know what you guys think about it. So make sure you guys hit me down in the comment box. What do you think about Migos and their album sales so far? Keep in mind, I will be doing a review on their total album sales for the first week tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And yeah, man, it's just kind of weird because like I say, man, these guys are label mates. They're on QC Records. And they actually have a show they're going to be doing this month. So it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to do the show at all or if they're going to mend fences by then. But that's it for this one. I'll definitely see you guys on the next So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to me on social media at JustMike77. And I will see you guys on the next vlog. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. I am out.